So you walking after your own lust, being covetous, all right? Being perverse, wicked. Keep reading. And saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. And that's how people think. When we tell them America's gonna be destroyed, they laugh it off like it's, it's, it's never gonna happen. This place is gonna continually go in practicing that ha that uh, that lifestyle which you can't bring life through that lifestyle and now they done gone so far to try to sustain that lifestyle by trying to create sperm and eggs in the laboratory using stem cells and they showed you that in that movie baby daddy how the woman she she wanted to have a baby but she didn't want to deal with a man so she went to a sperm bank and, and was able to choose what type of eyes and genes and all this stuff from from a uh, ge they genetically made a sperm just for her so she can get pregnant and have the perfect baby for say that's an abomination for this they wittily are ignorant of yeah that by the word of the most high the heavens are old and the earth standing out of the water and in the water whereby the world that then was being Ta talking about during the time of Noah keep reading being over flooded with water perish yep but the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men that's right that's right so that also backs up that that practice is uh is set for destruction because you ungodly man that's an ungodly practice man you can go back to uh so we'll go back to uh peters later on so his son-in-law's mocked him man okay well, genesis chapter 19 verse 15 and when the morning arose then the angels hastened Lot saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy two daughters, which are here, yep. lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. And while he lingered, the men laid hold upon his hand, uh -huh. and upon his wife's hand, I mean his wife, yep. and upon the hand of his two daughters. And the Lord being merciful unto him, and they brought him forth and set him without the city. And it came to pass when they had brought them forth abroad that he said, Escape for thy life. Look, look behind thee. Uh -huh. I mean, look not behind thee. Neither uh, stay in the place of the plain. Escape to the mountain, lest thou be consumed. So the commandment was not to look back upon Sodom and Gomorrah because it was going to be destroyed. The same, the few scriptures we got before about Lot's wife, not to look back. But she gonna look back because she she was worried about her her daughters, her possessions, her possessions, her so-called friends she made amongst them sodomites, man. Okay, because they was they they act just they was acting just like you so-called white people, man. You're hypocrites. You put on the front like you you're into women, or you might get you a woman. A great example, Sandusky. He's so-called married, right? He's got his woman, but yeah, he's a he's a known. Uh, a multiple, multiply uh, charged pedophile, man, a child molester, and that's that's a that runs rapid amongst all you so-called white people, man. Y'all operate like that, just like these people back there in Sodom and Gomorrah. You read And Lot, Lot said unto them, Oh, not so, my lord. Uh -huh. Behold, now. Thy servant hath found grace in thy sight, and thou hast magnified thy mercy, yep. which thou hast shown unto me in saving my life. And I cannot escape to I cannot escape to the mountain, lest some evil take me and I die. Yeah. Behold now, this city is near to flee unto, and it is a little one. Oh let me escape hither, and, and my soul shall live. Uh -huh. And he said unto him, See, I will now accept thee concerning this thing also, and I will not overthrow this city for for the for the which thou hast spoken. Yep. As 
hasten thence, escape thither, for I cannot do anything till thou be come thither. Uh -huh. Therefore the name of the city was called Zora, and the sun and the sun risen upon the earth when light entered into Zora, and the Lord rained upon Sodom and Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. That's right. The heavenly Father rained fire, brimstone, and fire upon Sodom and Gomorrah because they was perverse, abominable sinners, man, doing grievous sins as being homosexuals, all right, and all those practices of sodomy, man. That's what led to their destruction, man. All right, and the scripture said, touch not my anointed, nor do my prophets no harm. And Lot was a prophet, man, okay? And he pleaded with them simple ass uh, Hamites, man. He told them not to do that. But they, they reject righteousness. They didn't want to deal with a woman. How nature, how the Heavenly Father set it up. They wanted to deal with anus, man. Okay. All right. So they got destroyed by fire. And that's a, that's a bad way, man. Keep reading. And he, over, and he overthrew those cities and all the plain. Yep. And all the inhabitants of the of the cities. Yep. And that which grew upon the ground. So he destroyed not only the people, not only their possessions, but he, he scorched the earth, man. He turned that whole place into a large ashtray, man. Talking about Sodom and Gomorrah and all the cities that was uh, under that jurisdiction or, or, or authority of Sodom and Gomorrah. 